hello hello friends so today's video because i had been a minute i'm sorry today's video i'm leaving for disney world tomorrow so i thought i would do a video showing you what i keep in my park bag because i love watching these videos and even though this video has probably been on by literally everyone i feel like everyone actually has different stuff that they keep in their bag so i thought this might still be helpful to people who don't know what to bring to the disney parks but also just fun to see what someone keeps in their park bag. So I will link below the things that I can because obviously I bought them somewhere. Um, but some of the stuff I probably can't. So, so first up is a backpack. Um, I got this backpack from Vera Bradley. This is a factory exclusive print, so you cannot buy this print online. Um, I'm very sorry about that. Uh, I personally live near um, like Gulfport, which is where I bought this backpack in a Gulfport store. Um, so I don't know what factory exactly it is. So I don't know like how many stores it covers. So, but on the front, which is backwards, I have this little ear holder and I got this ear holder on Etsy and I will link it below. And in the ear holder, I have my Loungefly 50th anniversary ears because I'm going for the 50th anniversary. So I bought them now. So I would ensure I bought them when they came out, like on the first, so that I would ensure that I would get them um, because I didn't want to go to the parks and then be out of stock because I noticed that they have a big popularity these years. I could not even get the backpack. The backpack was already sold out because I really would have loved to have, but it's okay not mad maybe we'll get it in the park so that's that's on the front and I'm just gonna flip that back here to make it a little easier um, and then on the side I just got this umbrella it's the same pattern um, you can get this stuff online the backpack and stuff you just can't get this print um, because like I said it's, a, it's an exclusive I this umbrella is actually pretty nice pretty big size and I thought it would be nice for the parks for if I am alone and it starts to rain I could just pop open an umbrella and then on the other side is where I keep my water bottle. I'm currently using my water bottle today, but that's where I'm going to keep it while we're in Disney. And I have all these like stickers from Redbubble. I will link them below if you want to see a closer look because I have a lot of stuff in this backpack. So I want to show it to you all. So we're going to open it up. Let's start with the big compartment. So obviously off the bat, we have ears because you can't go to Disney World and not have options. That's what I say. Also, I haven't been to Disney World since 2018, so every single one of these pairs of ears in this backpack I have never worn in the parks before. So, yeah. So, obviously the first pair is the pair that we already showed. And then we have Christmas ears that I managed to snag online when they came online real quick for like a day. Um, and they also were, I also kind of got 20% off, which really only saved, like, the shipping because I still had to pay for shipping. Because I wasn't going to do a whole big order for Disney stuff, I just wanted the ears. Nothing else. These are my sister's ears that she asked me to bring because she does not live with us. She lives elsewhere. I'm going to keep that private. And she wanted me to bring them with uh, me so that she could have them. So I put them in there. I have these timeless mini ears. I think they go this way with the little flower. And I think that they're super cute. I remember seeing these in the parks the last time I was there because it's been since 2018. So it's kind of exciting to get to wear them. I think that they even came out with a newer, much cooler design that I actually liked better. But I don't think that that design is available anymore. And then I've never been wearing rose gold in the park before because they weren't available when I last went because that's when they were popular and uh, I bought them at like a Disney store and I just haven't been to Disney since so I didn't get the chance to ever wear them. I bought these a year ago at a Disney outlet store which is no longer available because they closed them but I thought they would be fun for Christmas night so some of this stuff isn't always going to be in here. Um, I'm probably not even going to keep all of the ears in here every day. It's probably just going to be like an extra pair if I want to like change it because like I have the ear holder so I can just easily assess that way I can just take one and off. So this is a little fun pouch 
that I got with an Ipsy bag. And it just has personal products and extra underwear in it. I'm not going to show you. What's the point? Um, because you never know. Alright. This is a little first aid kit thing. I have all, all of these little bags are from Ipsy, so I can't link them. So I have all kinds of stuff up in here. I have some Germex. Cool. I have a... I don't know why I put that in there. Um, I have some alcohol swabs. Whatever this is. I have some scissors because I do have moleskin somewhere else in here. I have some sunscreen. I have some band-aids. That's about it. Just a little bit of extras because my other like little kit was pretty full. So here's another one. Like I said, all these bags from Etsy's. This is all my face masks. So I'm not gonna take them out because it's hard to get them back in. But I also have my Sorcerers of Magic Kingdom cards in here. And I'm bringing them just in case because I don't see why we can't do Sorcerers of Magic Kingdom. I don't know if they're doing it or not, like COVID wise. Like that's a thing. I don't know why not. Like, you, you use your magic band. You're not touching anything. I don't, I don't get why that would be a problem. But maybe I just won't be able to get new cards. Maybe I'll just look at the play. Because it's like, what are they going to do? They're going to block it off? They're going to hide it from me? Love to see you try. Like, I, I have a, I know where they are. Just kidding. No, I can't get this shut. There we go. So this is my other little emergency kit, which is fun. I got more Dremex, surprise. I got some Aquaphor. Um, you never know when you have Chuck Flips, you never know what you're gonna need. I have bought these little perfume things on Amazon. And so, cause, oh, it just smells like it. Um, I have the Crystal Gardenia perfume from KKW Beauty Fragrance, sorry. And it's a big bottle, it's a glass bottle, and I just don't want it to break, and so I figured I'd bring these little perfume bottles. So I put them in here, because I'm the kind of person that actually forgets to put on perfume, so I figured they're in here, they're in my park bag. I can get to the park and just spritz it on <laughs> in front of everybody. Um, I got some hand lotion that I got with an Ipsy bag. Um, another perfume bottle. I got like all three perfume bottles, all with Crystal Gardenia, because I'm stupid. Um... I've got some triple antibiotic ointment. I got some WandaVision lip gloss. They don't sell it anymore. Um, some band-aids, which really I think it's just like one or two in here. So I might just take those out and put it in the other bag. I've got some floss. Sometimes you get food stuck between your teeth, you know. I got some Pepto and I got some Moleskin. I think I'm going to rearrange some of this stuff to put some of the more first 80 items in the first 80 bag. I think that's a good idea. No way I don't get confused. So that's that and then there's a laptop pouch in here so within the laptop pouch I just have a few more Disney things so first up I have my first coin album book that I got last time I was there I just thought it was cute oh, my sister was like you already have one I was like yep it's full um and it was I have a bunch of um pennies already in here so because I have so many pennies to press unless I actually like just press a handful because I don't have time and I forget to press any pennies. Um, if I fill this one up, I'm probably just going to get a new one and hopefully they have a 50th one. That would be really cool. Um, cause this one's from like 2018. Uh, but yeah, I'm not really going to go through all the pennies in here, but I do have some like series ones. It's fun. I started a wilderness explorer last time I was there. I do see online that they're doing wilderness explorer. So that's really cool. Um, I only really did like Africa and Asia and uh, Pandora, so I have to do the rest of them, obviously. So I figured I'd bring it. 
And then I bought the Walt Disney World Travels book like years ago and it's just a fun little book to do as you like go on trips. So I have it all like ready to go. Which I need to change the dates because I it was the old dates, but uh, we changed the dates. But um, I have it ready. It's kind of started to fill out and stuff like that. So I put, then I downloaded Disney movies for the trip and then watched The Simpsons on the way because we're going to Universal as well. So because we're going to Universal as well, this most of the stuff isn't going to Universal. on the Christmas ears is like way too big. phone mount which I'm mainly bringing for the car but like it you can clip it on stuff right here I'll link it below I got it on Amazon and then here is where you put your phone and you can turn it to go this way you can like have it go this way and be portrait or you can keep it landscape and it like stretches so you can put your phone up in there I think it's really cool I used it like on the plane when I went to visit my sister um, but like I could probably also somehow use in the car. You can also just set it down. Like you don't have to like, not like that. Set it down, you don't have to like, you know. But I am mostly probably using my iPad, so it's probably not going to be useful. But it might be useful in the parks for pictures. You never know. My Magic Man. I have the Baby Yoda and the Mandalorian one because we were originally going to go last year. And so I bought this like a year ago. So... Um, this is my little, I'm trying to hide my license, uh, <laughs> in case anybody wants to incriminate me, um, for a Bradley pouch, it matches, obviously. I just have money in here and my debit card and my ID because I am old enough to drink, so in case they need to card me, they can't, I have my ID, because that would be very bad if I want to go drink around the world and I can't even drink. This is my pressed change album pouch, if you will. Here, all of it. Um, it's not the same pattern because I don't have 30 of them just lying around. It's the same pattern. These are my sister's sunglasses she asked me to bring. Or she didn't really ask me, she kind of forgot. So I was like, I figured I'd bring them to her that way if it's sunny weekend. I need to grab mine though. Mine aren't in here. So this is the Thrill Rod portable charger. I've never actually charged it. I might in a minute because I probably should charge it. And that way then, if it's not available at Universal, it's able to be used in Universal. Because why not? I bought it when I was in, visiting my sister in an airport in DC on the way home. It was a layover, um, Washington DC. <laughs> Only closest I've ever been to Washington DC ever in my life um, was the airport. <laughs> And it was like 20, it was like $10 cheaper than it is in the parks. Cause normally it's like 30 and it was only like 20 there. So I bought it there so I could already have it. Cause I knew we were going to Disney. Like that was, that was a definite thing. It wasn't like a possibility, like it was happening. So yeah, I thought that was a good plan. And I just kind of put these like in the little pencil, little pouch thing down here, whatever. One more pouch. So, in this one, I have some Harry Potter Very Bradley face masks, and I love these face masks because they go like completely over your head, 
and I want more face masks like this because I see a lot of people who are like, oh, let's get one with like the chain. Like, no, get them like this that go completely over your head if you're going like constantly like putting them on and off because you have to. Um, and that way then you can just have it down here and just pull it right back up. And I love that in New York wearing these. So I have, these are Gryffindor. I'm a Ravenclaw. I guess my mom didn't realize that they had other options because I saw that they had other options. I don't see them now online, which is kind of sad, um, but they don't really have a lot of options like that in the River Bradley store even. And then I bought a little 50 um, tablet ibuprofen bottle because I do get headaches when I don't have coffee quick enough. I also, you know, if we are in pain for some reason, anybody's in pain, you know, you never know if you need ibuprofen. I feel like this is a very necessity type of thing. Um, I feel like this is something that you should definitely get and it wasn't very expensive because it was 50 of them you can get bigger bottles but i figured a small bottle was best because then it would fit better and i was right i don't have a big small bottle of whatever i'll put the magic band in here um but yeah that's my park bag i was going to use the disney bag but i decided to get this one because it was only 40 dollars with all the sale prices at the uh burr bradley store because that's why i like buying at the burr bradley outlet store i have the matching duffel bag that i'm also taking on this trip and i have a tablet case and i have a makeup bag that i'm not using but um yeah i like to be matchy matchy um That's pretty much the video. Um, so, yeah. I'll see you guys in Disney World because I am going to vlog. Oh, I also have luggage tags. I got this little luggage tag on Shop Disney. And it's got my name on it. It says that you can't see it. And then this one has my, came with my magic band. Because I, we got these a year ago, so we didn't get 50th anniversary ones. I didn't know that they were going to do that. That makes me sad. Um, but we got... I got it, and it's got all my, my address and everything on the back. So I'm not going to show you that. almost did. Um, because that's not necessary. Um, oh, crap. I'll pop four out. I'll just put this in the front pouch at the little bottom because I feel like that is something I'm gonna need way more quickly accessible than all the way at the bottom in one of those pouches. So yeah um I'm done with the haul. Um I, I was gonna buy a little first aid kit I really was but I thought I'd just use stuff out of the big one that I already have. Because <laughs> like what could I possibly need? That's the haul. Oh, real quick. Um, so I do have, we are going to Universal. So I do have this Vera Bradley Herbology print, um, a little stilling backpack that I'm probably going to use. It's got like a little big pouch here. It's got one here and it's got one on the front. And so I might use this. Hey, look at that. Music room. <laughs> that little New York um bus what's it called the double like the double decker buses like we did one of those we literally got on it for like five minutes um that's fun uh it kind of makes me sad that we got on it for only five minutes because we paid so much money for it <laughs> um but yeah, I have this little like Harry Potter Herbology print backpack. I really want the new Luna one. It's so cute. Um, but you know, it's not on sale. It's probably not ever going to be on sale. And if it is, it's going to be like a while because this is the only print available at the outlet store. There is some Forbidden Forest at my outlet store near me, but I don't see like a ton. And like, I actually couldn't really find like any of it. Like there was this girl in front of me who had some and I was like, where did she get that? <laughs> And, um, cause that print is really pretty and I would love to have that print, but they just, you know. So I really want the Luna one though. I think the Luna one's cutest and uh, Luna's my favorite. I'm a Ravenclaw, obviously Luna's gonna be my favorite. So yeah, that's the haul. Um, the haul. 
that's the that's the what I'm keeping in my bag video and I will do a haul from Disney and I will also do vlogs of Disney and Universal and I'm a big Harry Potter fan and I'm a big Star Wars fan so just something to keep in mind that that's something that you're going to see a lot of. Thanks for watching!